Psalm 50, verses 16 through 23. Whoso offereth praise glorifieth me. That statement comes from Psalm 50, verse 23. God is speaking, and it's a good statement for us to ponder today. Whoso offereth praise glorifieth me. God's talking about our offering of praise to him. We today don't bring bulls and goats and lambs. We don't have a literal altar to which we bring literal sacrifices. The sacrifices God wants from us come from our heart. In fact, even when we bring money, which is a very literal and real sacrifice, even when we bring money, it must be given from a heart of love and sincerity and faith. Our purpose is to glorify God and to enjoy Him forever. We start enjoying Him right now, and we enjoy Him as we glorify Him. It's a beautiful experience. The more you glorify God, the more you delight in Him. And the more you delight in Him, the more you enjoy Him. And your life becomes enriched as you glorify God. Now, God wants us to glorify Him. Is God selfish when He says this? If I walked up to you and said, I want you to glorify me by praising me, it would sound terribly proud. But you see, God is the greatest being in the universe. There is none greater, there is none higher. God is sovereign. And when God asks us to praise Him, He is asking us to experience the highest thing possible, the praise and worship of God. We praise God by good works. Matthew 5, 16, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. We praise him through godly worship. We praise him through an orderly, godly walk. Whoso offereth praise glorifieth me. And then he goes on to say, and to him that ordereth his conduct aright will I show the salvation of God. There's something to offer and there's something to order. We offer by faith, we order our lives by obedience. This verse is simply saying, trust and obey. For there's no other way to be happy in Jesus but to trust and obey. Offer praise today and back up that offering with an ordered life of obedience to the Word of God.